Hi guys, so um, today is actually the vlog for yesterday, um, which was Monday, um, the 11th of March. Um, not much to say really um, about yesterday, other than um, I went to get my dressings redone yesterday, and um, and they took. Uh, the regular site off the bad leg they took the bandages off there and then they took the donor site off as well and the verdict is I can have my nerve operation in two weeks so really excited about that gonna get that booked in mum's gonna book that in for me um, so really positive really really good um, I'm also now allowed to shower so I'm gonna be showering today and every day Oh, oh, it's gonna feel amazing. I haven't been clean in so long. <sighs> um, so yeah, um, my like the main thing is my foot has been in absolute state since I got this injury because I haven't been able to wash it really. So we've been trying to find ways of keeping it clean and like scrubbing it, and it's been. Uh, really horrible Oof. Um, so no really excited about that really excited about getting this operation done um, although something new that has um, come about is I might end up having a scar all the way up my leg which I didn't realise was a possibility so basically the story is, is when, they, when they do a nerve graft so I'll give you a little bit of a picture so basically when they do a nerve graft they cut open from here running down up here okay and then oh, or when they're doing the nerve operation so they'll look at the what is called the sciatic nerve which I believe is somewhere up here um, and basically that splits into two and it, there's a deep perineal and then there's the the common perineal I think nerve um, and I think it's the common perineal nerve that we're interested in because that's the one that is um, not working so uh, if the nerve is split or severed rather um, then what they have to do is they have to cut all the way down here and take it from another nerve somewhere down here so, um, obviously that would be on my left leg, which is already scarred to pieces anyway. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to look like I've been mauled by a lion or a tiger at the end of this. So, um, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Um, but, obviously, really, busy, really, really positive news. Things have been getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back all the time and it's just finally got to a stage where actually you know what I'm able to get it done so um, really really happy about that um, and going to get that sorted um, now about the weekend so I went to the theatre on Saturday which was really really good fun um, and I'm actually going to put some footage in now of that right so we're just about to head off to the theatre um, Dad is driving us because him and Mum are going to go to some kind of nautical shop to buy a compass that we promised we'd buy him for his birthday and haven't been able to find it anywhere. So, cheers. All dressed up and took an hour to do our makeup. So. That's light, only took me half an hour. And this is my setup at the moment. I'm sat in the back seat with my feet over the front seat. So, I have my very own. Like, oh, she's like, yeah, and then um, she's like, kind of hurts. And she's like, um, in order to be like, oh, it'll be the honey, please. She's like, you take the Christmas, 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 she's like, you take the Christmas
so yeah that was really good um but uh i might have overdone it a little bit because i was really really tired um after that had all finished um and it was quite uncomfortable so um and then also after the theatre having to come back and watch the England go oh it was terrible um speaking of which yesterday I did my Six Nations view from a sick bed verdict so if you go check that out um on on my channel um yep yeah. uh now today I've got physio um I've got some shoes arriving, so I've got a new pair of trainers and then some smart shoes because I've got, um, and, and this is going to make me sound like the poshest boy in the world, but, um, my old school, my, I went to boarding school and my school has a, a rowing club, so I was part of that rowing club and they've got an old boys dinner that they're having for the rowing club so um, yeah I'm going to that with some friends of mine seeing some people I haven't seen in like four or five years so um, really really excited about that um, yeah uh, not much else to say really um, yeah um, I, when I get up and when I go to the physio, I'm going to ask the physio if I'm okay to film some of the exercises that I'm doing. Just because then I can put them in the vlog. And you guys can see what work I'm doing. Because I'm working hard to try and get back to fitness. Um, and obviously, I put some exercises in earlier on in the vlogs. But you haven't seen anything since that. So, um, yeah. Um, but apart from that, all good. Please, please, like subscribe um, share it and tell me what you think about the vlogs tell me if you think that they're a bit boring tell me if you think that they're really good you know I'm open to all feedback so cheers